Raptor lift pump made by Thoroughbred Diesel on this 1999 Dodge 3500, uh, 5.9 Cummins. When I originally installed the Carter fuel pump six months ago, it was putting out 14 PSI and about 12 at wide open throttle. Um, I'm going to show you really quick what it's putting out now and uh, we'll see the reason. Hopefully this will cure the problem. Alright guys, here's the reason why. You can see our fuel pressure at 4 and 3 right there. Six months old, Carter fuel pump, original OEM. I do not suggest putting one of these in your Dodge if you want your uh, VP44 injection pump to live. Alright, with the kit, we've got obviously here's our fuel pump. It's the model FRRP100, which is a 100 gallon a minute Raptor fuel pump. The kit, installation instructions, mounting hardware, some extra O rings in case you got to put them in here, evidently. And we've got some uh, these fittings here for the hoses. This is the so hose for the fuel supply that that supplies to the pump from the from the pump to the filter. So let's get started. First, we're going to go remove the old pump. All right. First, we're going to do is find the pump. So the lift pump. Here's your filter. Behind it, down there in the back, is your lift pump. You can do this by not having to remove the fuel filter, but I'm going to remove it anyway because it just takes a second and it's going to make everything easier. All right, we have a edge juice hooked up to this truck, which is why I've got this sensor on top. This is our fuel pressure sensor. So we're going to take all this off here. I'll do the banjo fitting here that supplies to the VP44. And on the back side of this is the supply from the lift pump. Take that off. We'll take this off. We'll undo the bolts right here in the mounting bolts and just move it over here out of the way. When you're doing these, watch out that you don't lose your washers for your banjo fittings. Twelve millimeter holds it on bracket. We could pull this out. I'll just unclip the there's a connector on the bottom of your um, fill filter, fuel filter down here. I think it's the water sensor. So we'll just unclip that, lay that down, and just pull this out. Here's our lip pump. This is the problem with her. So we're going to remove the two mounting bolts on top. Those are 10 millimeter. Unplug it. Take this connector off here. This is the fuel supply going into it. There's a banjo fitting on the back side. Undo that banjo nut. Pull this out of the way. And this is a factory fitting on here. That will be, this all remains if I'm not mistaken. I think we cut this, I think we end up cutting this bracket off flush so we'll have to remove this from the banjo bolt this fitting and cut this bracket flush to fit it on the new pump we'll get to that so but for right now let's just remove the pump and get out of here okay I misquoted earlier these nuts on top are 11 millimeter here's the jumper from the Carter pump to the 
pump plug. We'll save that in case we need it. Okay, reach under that, underneath the bracket, and you can hold that stud solid while you take the nut off the top of that post. Well, here's those studs I was telling you guys about right here. And uh, inevitably, they'll come loose when you're trying to take these damn pumps out. Well, this is the six month old Carter pump that I just replaced that's gone gunny sack. Um, if you haven't noticed on my channel, a lot of my videos are shooting and reloading. I think we should make a video with this pump sitting on about 10 pounds of tannin and blow the shit out of it. What do you think? If you do, leave me a comment below. Let me know how many pounds of tannerite I should use and if we should blow this some bitch sky high because that's exactly what we're gonna do. So uh, subscribe now, like the video, share it with all your buddies, hit the notification bell so you're notified and we blow the shit out of this pump. All right, let's get back to putting a good one in. This is the banjo fitting with the inlet fuel clipped on here in the bracket. Remember that was on top of the fuel pump. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off so it gives us more room to work. And as I do believe, this will be in the way. So I'm gonna remove this clip real quick. We'll take the grinder. We'll just cut that off, all right? We can... There we go, now that won't be in the way of anything. There we go. All right, we've got our pump here, so let's assemble some of these pieces before we put them in. This is the inlet on this side, and this is the outlet. This is the power supply. On this particular pump, that's why it's going to mount in the truck. Here's the here's the frame, the engine. Mount on the back two of the flange, and that's where this banjo bolt the fuel supply comes in. It's gonna mount right there on the side. In the kit, you've got two brand new banjo seal washers, and that's what we're going to use when we replace the banjo bolt. Okay, those will go on there, and then we'll clip the fuel supply back on. On the outlet side, we need to install Okay, real quick, here's why on this particular 99, we're using the banjo bolt option. You'll see that the inlet fuel line that clips on here, that fitting, that's that inlet is smaller. Cause this is a 100 gallon a minute pump. On the 150s and up, they're gonna have you replace all this with bigger hose. These um, fittings right here are for these quick connects here. Okay, the kit doesn't, with the 100, the kit doesn't supply you with a new inlet, so that's why we have to use this piece. That video. Let's take out the caps. All right. I'm gonna take out the outlet cap and install one of these connectors. This is the fitting for this hole. This one will go on top of the fuel filter. All right, fellas, I don't have a seven eighths, so I'm gonna take one right out of the rule book of Vice Grip Garage. If you haven't seen this guy, check his um, YouTube out. He's freaking awesome. Vice Grip Garage. There, also known as a 7 8 Tighten that up. There. About that tight. Perfect. Now this will just clip on when we go to install. We'll put those on later. Before we install this, we're going to hook our jumper wire back up. As I can tell, 
there's just not enough lead off of the loom right here to, to reach the front of that pump. Right. Now that we've got our two bolts that came with the kit installed, we'll tighten those up. could have we should have could have installed this before we put the pump on had it facing backwards here and uh, so hindsight's 2020 all good we'll install it now I'm gonna use those two new banjo washers remember that's a 17 millimeter it goes on there tighten that up Take our fuel line supply, inlet supply, and clip it on. Wait a second. When I cut that off, I didn't put that clamp back on. So don't forget that clamp. Remember when I cut that flange off of this fitting, I removed the blue clip so that I wouldn't nick it or melt it with the grinder. So don't forget if you do the same to put it back on. Now we'll slide the fuel supply line on. Make sure the clip lines up and just clips in place. Now that that's installed, we'll tighten up the banjo fitting back there. Now we need to hook up the power supply. So now we're going to hook up the rubber hose and connect it to here prior to making any cuts. All right, this comes, this hose comes extra long so we can put the fittings on it, hook up one side and make our cuts. They're both the same. So put a little oil on one of the barbs. There's no clamps for these. Just shove them on there. Oh. I made it a lot easier. Dude, <laughs> ain't done yet. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> I gotta get it all the way up there. Oh. This is why you don't do this on the truck. <laughs> oh. Okay, keep pushing. All right, we're going to clip the bottom part on here first, and then we'll bring in the fuel filter and do a dry fit, cut it, take this back out of the truck so we can put the other end on. So our hose here is coming around the front. We want to bring it around the back side of the fuel filter. This is the inlet and this is the outlet. So we want to come up to where our hose will come up in 90 into this when we put the fitting on here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go get that fitting and we'll install that with the new band with the last banjo bolt they got. Well, here's the other fitting that was left with the kit and it has the new uh, banjo bolt washer installed on it. That's gonna get screwed into the top of the fuel filter on the inlet side. So let's do that real quick. So we've routed our hose across the back side of this, installed the other fitting on the inlet side of the filter. This would be snapped on top so we can get a rough fitting of where we want to cut this hose. It'll give us a little room.
It's pretty stiff hose. We'll go around the back side of that bracket because this holds the this one here holds the arm on. Dip stick tube. So we'll come around that back side. Maybe come into the off to the side a little bit. Maybe. Let me get a bolt back here. Hold this other one on. So that'll be going there. So that'll be going there. Let's route that. About like that. Nice sweeping bend. It's not kinked off. Goes behind the dipstick tube would be mounted back behind that bracket. So we're gonna cut this hose off right here. Take it out of the truck and install that. So now that we've got the hose cut and the both the ends are on, we'll fish it around, connect it to the fuel pump, bring it up connect it to the filter and we'll tighten it down and hook up the outlet. There's that click, you hear that? below since we're here this is the fuel heater and um, I don't hook that up I live in Oregon so what's the point besides it was getting burned out plug which other end of it here it is you can see the end of that plug was getting burned up in there that's a common trait with these fuel heaters on these so I don't even run it don't need it. Moving on. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Bend it back. Whoops. Bend it back. Slide it off here. There's that click we're looking for. Nice. Check in. Nothing's pinched off. Everything looks real good. Everything's plugged in. There we go. Looking for the water sensor. Okay. Hopefully I won't have to be taking these off of here anytime soon. So we'll get this snugged up, hooked up. And okay, now I'll hook up the pressure fitting, pressure, pressure sensor. So before you start it, you come in here. Yes, dear. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we want to pull the fitting up so we can turn the key on and prime the pump, so. There you go. All right. Oh, run. There you go. 20, that's almost 17, really good. 16, 18. Wide open. Loving it. All right, that's it. 